Hi everyone, I'm Chris. Welcome to another Airsoft Equipment video. Today I want to take a look at a uh, product that's fairly new out on the market. I had a couple of questions recently from people um, asking when it comes to the Tokyo Marui um, electric blowback line. You've got the, the old TM metal mid caps have been around since the, the uh, sort of that new line was released. And Magpul PTS have recently came out with uh, PMAX for, for those particular guns. At last, I've been waiting a long time. Uh, fortunately, since I have had that question asked, and my my uh, my PMAX just came in the post yesterday. All I've done is taken them out of the actual the mail, you know, the postage packaging they were in. The, the uh, plastic wrapping here hasn't been opened. Well, this one's come open by itself, but I haven't opened it, and I haven't taken the magazines out yet. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of a look at them, and I'm going to give them a test. Uh, and it will be literally out out of the box uh, performance. I'm not going to try and like break them in or you know test them before I do the video just to make sure they work. This is literally you know if they don't work, you guys are going to see them not working. So let's uh, grab one out. Picked up. Uh, Three of these. The black. You get an FDE as well. They come with the dust covers. And I never really use them. I find the best thing to do with those is just clip them onto the base because then it gives you a little bit more of a, a grip area. You go for your reloads. Size-wise, these are these are more realistic to what a, a real magazine size actually is. Most Airsoft magazines are a little bit shorter. Nice and lightweight. I mean, the polymer, if you know anything about the Magpul PTS and the, the proper Magpul PTS, now there's a lot of these people get confused with these like green label ones that some of the Airsoft retailers they say they're PTS, but they're, they're actually made by Star or Ares and they're pretty crap. And the, these 120 rounders and the standard AEG mags that hold 120 rounds. These are really solid. I've got quite a few of them for normal AEGs. So yeah, I mean, the polymer's the same, you can tell that straight away. A couple of very minor seam lines down front of the back, but they're barely visible to be honest. Um, Modelled on the M version, not the M3 version which Magpul Industries recently released, unfortunately. But the difference is pretty minimal, so. As I say, this is 120 rounds capacity, but as with the original TM metal mid caps, you can switch these down to a real cap 30 round. So that's a nice little feature to have. Um, in terms of the, uh, the weapons, I'm going to try them in one of my SOCOMs, which is just the SOP mod, but with the front wiring for anyone who's not familiar with it. And because they're a PMAG, not an EMAG, but a model after, I've brought my Scar L as well just to make sure they fit in there and they feed and work as they should. I think we'll be all right. We'll see. So, I'll take this first one, grab my speed loader. That is. Okay, that's loading a bit very roughly, about 30 BVs just over. So we're going to start off with the SOCOM, that's the first firing test, and uh, see how this thing does. Okay, so I've got my target set up. First to test is going to be the SOCOM. Let's, uh, let's see how this thing fits in. Nice and solid, good. Hasn't locked the bolt to the rear. I thought, I, I thought for a moment there something doesn't wasn't right. The magazine's emptied, and I fired a couple of dry runs 
but the uh, the bolt hasn't locked for some reason. I'm not sure what's happened there. Let's try again. No, bolt isn't locking. It's a shame. We'll put that magazine down. Got another one here. Let's try this. Full auto. Wait, that's empty now. Empty mag bolt hasn't locked for some reason. I don't know if whether it's this gun. But hmm, not sure, not sure. We'll try out the scar, see what happens with that. So we had a bit of a problem with the SOCOM there. I've got the scar L now. I'm gonna, uh, got another magazine, about 20 BBs in it. We'll give, uh, give it a go on this gun, see what happens. Auto. No, I don't think that's locking. Mag's empty. Bolt isn't locked. So, some unknown reason. So, mag's empty now. If I pull the trigger, it should stop the gun firing. Uh, it's not. Uh, that, is, that is disappointment. I must say. The, uh, if I press the, the actual bolt catch with my finger, it's free to move. So, in theory, the PTS magazine should stop the gun firing. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. I'm really, I'm really surprised by that. I mean, it, it's they fed brilliantly. Um, really, so smoothly that the. The fitment in the guns is beautiful, um, just just firm enough that there's not really any wobbling. Um, a tiny bit of free room, but they can they can drop free nice and easily. But I don't know why that little lever there on the back should be acting on the mechanism inside the gun. And it should it should stop the gun firing when there's no rounds left. So that is an issue. That is an issue. I shall. Um, I think I'll be uh, getting in contact with PTS, see what they have to say about that. Uh, maybe try, I've got a couple of different SOCONs, uh, I'll maybe try them out as well, give them a bit of a dry fire just to, maybe it's both of these guns, I doubt it, <laughs> but um, we'll see. So, yeah, a bit of a disappointment on that aspect. Really happy with the construction, they've fed brilliantly, no problems there, look really good as well. Really, really easy to get good firm, uh, positive grip on these when it comes to your, your actual weapons manipulation. But that that bolt locking is a, is a definite issue. So um, if I uh, if I have any updates on that, I'll, I'll put it up on the on the Facebook page. And if you do want to check that out, by the way, guys, uh, I, as soon as I put any uploads onto YouTube. I post it on Facebook, so if you check your Facebook more often, or you have it like linked up on your phone or whatever, um, feel free to give that a like. Always uh, updating that. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. See you next time.